Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. Today we are at Telespark with Little Red, and we are enjoying it. We're just in Calgary, meeting up with my sister, so let's go explore. Super interactive experience at Calgary's Telespark Boat Rescue. So this exhibit is all about rescue and how different things work in a rescue and we happen to have a paramedic here who is Little Red's Auntie, my sister, and it tells you all about the cool things that they use to rescue people. They use to cut, like cut machine or cut metal and stuff in a rescue. See if you're trapped in your car, yeah. cut the roof off. And so they use get you out. something called hydraulics to cut you out. Yeah. So this is a cutter. Yeah. See how it cuts? And this is a spreader. Is this spreader? This is rescuers trained to overcome fear and they're gonna walk the plank. Are you gonna walk the plank, miss? Oh, I made it. She gonna make it. Here we go. Here comes the paramedic. Look at that. PPE? You and I put on PPE. When we now we're gonna do firefighters. It's teaching all about Come fire on. rescue. Yep. How to protect yourself in a fire. Here we go. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Oh no. Well, uh, <laughs> See how it's smoky and cloudy? Oh. Should get to the ground, get to the ground. <laughs> so that's just a demonstration on what it's like being in a fire. Alright, it's coming live. What are you doing now? I'm going to fly a helicopter. A rescue helicopter with your auntie? Yeah. She's kind of an expert at flying helicopters. I know. Rescue ones specifically. Cool? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? Here we go. Two, oh. two pilots in a pod. Start. Oh, you're just cranking her up. Oh, geez. You're really... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be a wild one, hey? There, bud. There. Yeah. The thing about Telespark, you guys, is there is so much stuff for the kids to learn and do. They're learning right now how to tie rope knots, which is super important in a lot of aspects of life. So that is what Red and Alex is doing. Also, Red's dad is um, rope tying as well, so it's fun for all ages. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Firefighter, you need fireproof uniforms. 
you generally have an outer shell, a moisture shell, and a thermal protector. Thermal means for heat. You need a helmet and you need boots. For a paramedic, you need to be high vis. You need pockets for all your medical equipment. You need to be able to access your radio and talk to dispatch. And you need all your personal protective equipment. Finally, you got a surf lifesaver. So they need bright colored clothing so you can see them in the ocean. They need sun protection. They need different tubes for buoyancy. And they need kickboards or swim boards to get to victims. This is so interactive for kids. It's amazing. It gives you so much information. This whole thing in here is absolutely amazing. It's so interactive for kids. They learn so much. They get to play hands-on experiences with a lot of the things here at Telespark. This is the rescue exhibit. So they are gonna rescue somebody on jet skis. So we've got the paramedic versus the brainiac. Classic physics explains the matter of energy on a scale familiar to the human experience. Quantum physics explains the behavior and matter of interactions with energy on the scale of atoms and subatomic particles. It describes view of the world similar to any indigenous known ways. A great quote. If you think you understand quantum physics, you don't understand quantum physics. put the puzzle together while only looking in the mirror. Is this the puzzle? Okay, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. 
I'm not sure what kind of puzzle it is supposed to be. But it just says, your vision does not work like a camera. Your brain checks what it sees against what you understand about the world and makes adjustments so that what you see makes sense. Hashtag truth. Crank? Okay. Two fingers on. I'm turning the crank. I'm going to oh, shock, I'm gonna shock my sister. I know it. Holy, it does shock you, man. <laughs> just wait, just wait. Holy moly. Anyone that else? Crazy. Get shocked. For fun. So you you are the, you there. are the can you wanna feel it? Place two fingers of one hand on each pad. Ah, I know. God. <laughs> yeah. Crank fast. I'll just to... hold it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go go go. Put your put it down. We might jump start you. Let's go. No. I yeah. Can't take any more. <laughs> Do you want me to try it? I don't care who tries it. So you want to, okay, so the idea is here that your weight will be distributed um, amongst the entire bed of nails, therefore it won't stab you because we all know what happens. Here it comes. Look at all the nails. And? I'm not hurt. You're not hurt at all. You want to give it a go? No issue. So lay down. So lay down, no. And you hit the button. Hold All right. It. Here comes the nails. Oh. Okay, you better hold it, Auntie. Yeah, because she gave me her self a massage. How does it feel, Rad? Feels But you're on a bed of nails. Bed of nails. All right, we're just gonna bring you down. Okay, so you put yours in there. So you got the fan. And whoa, got whoa. Did you fan. see that? Do it again. I shut this thing off. Like just fan, like how the like air currents. Air currents. They also just have an open studio space for the kidlets just to explore anything and everything that they may want to. Grab some tape. Be creative. Please ensure the tape only on the black walls. Does this count as a black wall? I don't. Oh, I think it's just. What did you find? Oh, yeah. What's <laughs> someone made out of the toothpicks? That'd be fun. <laughs> I think that one's my favorite. <laughs> did you see the wind? Yes. <laughs> You saw the wind? Yeah, it was strong. Okay, Red is gonna see how much water is in her body. Oh, yeah. That's mine going down, please wait. Okay. Look, look, it's coming, it's no. coming. Uh, are you using a mobility aid? Use the scale I'm standing on? Well, you're seven. See how much water's in her body. 20 liters? 20 liters of water. 20 liters of water in your body. I drink more than that. That seems like a lot. That's the artworks in these places just absolutely spark so much joy in me. They just, look how beautiful they are, you guys. Look at these. Those are beautiful. This is simulating a river. This gentleman up here is building a dam. This is showing how it diverts the water. So all the water is just coming down this side. So if you open up the dam, the water They also be have a really cute gift shop here, so you guys should check it out. I'm smart. Oh, I'm smart. I'm smart.
they've got a little ice cream shop here and it's space theme. They've got Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto ice cream. We might have to try some. Look at these lovely ladies making this ice cream. So everyone ordered a Neptune. I'll see if I can zoom in. We can compare it to the picture. Look at her. Neptune. Here's a Neptune. That's Come for on. you, Stats. Wow. Oh my god. Ah, is that a Neptune? Yep. Is it good? Does that have cotton candy around it? Yeah. Oh my god. So she's gonna be bouncing off the walls. Yeah. Okay, it's your house. Yeah, don't do it. So it looks like this is a hard on the outside. What does it taste like? Blue rasp? Mm hmm. And yep. metal on the inside, it oh, had yeah. cotton candy around it, more like this one had cotton candy around it. You got little diamonds. Little Not pearls. Just melting, that's only... No, you're all right. Go ahead, try it. What do you think? How is it? Good. <laughs> Real good. And it comes in a waffle cone. Oh yeah. All right, guys. That's everything from Red and myself here at Tell a Spark. It was so much fun today. We had such a good time. We're so glad we could take you along. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.